boys and girls. So we are going to be reading a story about a pig. What does a pig say again? Oink, oink, oink. Good job. This pig's name is Pedro. <gasps> Pedro, pig. What's the same about those words? They both start with the letter P. P, P. Pedro, P, P, pig. Very good. Now I'm going to be reading you a story and you're going to have to listen but I'm only gonna tell you a little bit of the story. At the end, it's going to leave you wondering and curious about what Pedro the pig found, and you're gonna have to go draw a picture about it. Okie dokie. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna listen to me, and then I'll tell you what to do. Got it? Now, before we begin, this Pedro the pig, he is curious. Can you say curious? When you're curious about when you're curious about something, that means you're wondering, you're thinking about it. Hmm, I wonder. I'm curious about what Pedro might find, which means I'm wondering what Pedro will find in our story. So, be listening and thinking about what Pedro finds with his curious mind. Got it? All right, here we go. This story is called Pedro the Pig. Now, there are no pictures, so you're going to have to use your listening ears. Okay. Here we go. Pedro Pig was a curious little guy. He was always into everything. More than once he had fallen into the duck pond and the number of times he wandered away from the barn and got lost was a number too big to keep track of. When new animals came to live at the farm, Pedro was the first to greet them. Pedro was also full of questions. When Farmer Dro brought up the pig slop, Pedro wanted to know what was in it. Hmm, if it's called pig slop, what do you think's in it? Pigs! Ah! When the rooster heralded, heralded each day, Pedro wanted to know who or what had woken the rooster. When Pedro's brothers and sisters fell asleep in the sunshine, he wanted to know why they didn't prefer playing. One day, Pedro wandered away from home again. He stopped to sniff <coughs> flowers and watch the bees gathering nectar. He held his face up to the wind and wondered where it came from. He listened to the happy songs of the birds and wished he understood tweeting. He wandered farther and farther and farther from the barnyard, drawn by his curiosity from one thing to the next. He knew he needed to turn around, but just as he was thinking of doing so, he heard a noise. What is that, he thought. The noise was coming from a clump of bushes just a few feet away. Pedro walked slowly toward the bushes and peeked inside. Oh my, exclaimed Pedro. And that's where we're gonna stop. Hmm, I wonder what curious Pedro found in those bushes. Now he wandered away from home. Are you supposed to wander off by yourself? No, but he wandered and wandered away because he was curious, he kept being thinking about all the things that he was seeing and wondering what the birds were talking about. And so when he came to these bushes, he saw something, but what was it? Let me read it again. He knew he needed to turn around, but just as he was thinking of doing so, he heard a noise. What is that, he thought. The noise was coming from a clump of bushes just a few feet away. Pedro walked slowly toward the bushes and peeked inside. Oh my, exclaimed Pedro. Hmm. So this is where you're gonna go off and draw a picture. You're gonna draw a picture of Pedro the pig and what you think he saw in those bushes, all right? Share with me below what you think he uh, saw in the bushes. You can even show me your picture and tell me the rest of the story if you want. All right, have fun.